Welcome back. Last time, we're about to investigate the case of the insidious inheritance. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> to recap, well, this loads. Uh, we showed up on this world, we met up, there's apparently a funeral going on for a guy who it turns out was actually a pirate, and uh, we can talk to the executor of his estate and everything, but here I am, a rogue trader, so I roll up and I'm like, yo, you're the executor of the estate? Do you have a warrant of trade? Are you a fucking rogue trader? No? No, 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 you step aside. I'm going to decide where this money goes. So I have to investigate a little bit about... I should get the controller ready. <clears throat> so. We have to figure out... I have to figure out how to do the controller working again. Um... Oh, uh, crap. Do I have to do that from main menu? I might. But anyway, I need to find clues to determine... There's a... Uh, what was it? Repentance? And Fidelio, I think, was another name? Then I need to uh, basically more or less figure out what that's all about. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, we're good. So I need to figure out what was meant by repentance. <clears throat> we also met with a member of the ecclesiarchy that Argenta knew. And she's basically decided to stay on uh, as a member of the, the Valencius Trading Concern. I will refer to it. Um, it's basically all really that happened last episode. Because a lot of it was the cleanup from the previous act. And kind of just getting situated in this new star system. Right, okay. Now, so the question is... Who else is there to talk to? Servitor. Patch on the Servitor's uniform reads Property of Hospilardo. Okay, so he's one of his servitors. Doesn't really matter. <clears throat> right, so there's Dagon. So I guess I could just say I want this inheritance myself, right? That's probably a possibility. Ceremony guests. Do I talk to them, maybe? Uh, I mean, I could just grab the money, but my thought, because Dagon had said, you know, if he gets a cut, he can, like, introduce me to trading partners and, you know, the pilots, pirates and shit. The thing about profit factor is being profitable doesn't just mean you grab all the money right away. you got to think of long-term investments. I'm thinking if I give some stuff to him and he provides good information on where we can get more, more cash, that could be a long-term profits. See what I'm seeing? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking here. I'm thinking. Ceremony guest. Ceremony guest. You know, let's just talk, start talking to like people. Great talk. Great talk. A lot of information. Who's you? You're a named person. Girl dressed in expensive clothes raises her sad little face. Sad widow face to you and says in a serious voice, Hello. <clears throat> Who are you and what are you doing here? Hiding, she hesitates for a moment. 
I thought I was going to cry, and I didn't want anyone to see. My name is Adelia Bellardo. It's my grandpa in there, in the box. Oh. Argenta's face softens. She reaches out and gently strokes Adelia's head. Like in 14, when Pankrid, with Rene, just kind of like places his hand on her head, because the best like animation they could do. <laughs> there, there. The tears will pass, Adelia. The tears will pass. And strength will return. And your courage will never leave you. Adelia tries to smile, but just nods seriously. Who are you? And what are you doing? Just... <clears throat> Where are your parents? My dad is Cass Bellardo. He's with the guests. And my mom ran away. She told me she hates dad and grandpa. What, she's got a problem with pirates? What? I guess she hates me too. I don't know. It was a long time ago. I don't even miss her anymore. I miss grandpa. He was the nicest. She presses her lips together and lets out a quiet, very unchildlike sigh. Now I get used to that. Adulthood is gonna... You're gonna get a lot of those unchildlike sighs of just... <sighs> did your grandfather ever mention the word repentance? He did. That word kept appearing in our house, and nobody knew who wrote it. It used to make Grandpa happy when I was little. He would always smile when he saw it, but then later, when I was a little bigger and Grandpa was already old, it stopped making him happy. He was sad. He would just sit there and stare at nothing. And after that, when he got sick... Hmm. When he got sick, he stuttered... The writing started to scare him. More and more, it appeared, repentance, repentance, repentance. Even in his bedroom. At one time, he pointed at the word and said something. Something very weird about dead eyes and about cobras going to class. I'm assuming that he said snake in the grass. What did you say? Cobras going to class? <laughs> we can't stop educating the Cobras. What did they do to deserve it? They can't even walk. Are you sure this is what your grandfather said? Of course I'm sure. When Grandpa was ill, I sat with him, and one time he started talking about Cobras. I was sad, but it was also a little funny. Cobra, get to class, he said. Cobra, get to class. Perhaps this is the old Navy officer in the talking. In me talking, but I'm almost certain he wasn't talking about a snake, but a Cobra class destroyer. Cobra going to class, you see. Oh, repentance could be a ship. Maybe. Cobra class destroyer. That's a name for, but why would, that, that makes no sense. Why would the name of a ship be written all over his freaking house? And who's writing it? Have you ever heard the name Fidelio? It's something my d dad was very mad at, but dad is always mad at everyone. At grandma, mum, Dagon, chaplain. Someone left some strange words in the Book of Remembrance, as if it were from Fidelio. That wasn't your doing by any chance. Ha! <laughs> that would have been a funny prank. But I don't play pranks. It was someone else. Maybe Fidelio did it, very quietly? Or maybe it was someone who's not on the list. But also someone nobody would suspect. I must leave. Goodbye. Okay, hold on. Now there's a whole another twist here. <clears throat> Keep your wits about you. Always keep your eye on the prize. Another servitor. What is he in front of? What are you doing? Ah, the administrator. Good. Then does any other guest have anything else to say? Oh, here we go. Caspilardo. Man of undetermined age turns to you and sighs loudly. You can tell by his breath he came to the ceremony after indulging in one or two glasses of strong drink. Your lordship, you must have been a proud broad here. Surely a figure as great as you yourself won't allow a terrible injustice. Did your father ever talk to you about repentance? Ha <laughs> ha! Even good old chaplain doesn't tell me to plenty give up a long time ago. Five dollars? What are you talking? Wait, you mean that repentance? Those stupid ghosts or whatever it was? 
I'm pretty sure my father did it himself, a senile kook. Or maybe it was like my was my daughter messing around. Where else could those words have come from? What did he die of? Have we established that yet? <clears throat> Age, debauchery, old wounds. By the end, the old dad was more implant than man. Especially after the assassination attempt. People tried to kill him, you see, about 12 years ago. Huh. What is the injustice? Wait, what words are you talking about? Out of the blue, right and start appear. Oh yeah, repentance. The first will appear about ten or so years back. Whenever see repentance, he just grin. Yeah, so it's something he liked, but why would he start being scared of it? <clears throat> like, is that the name of his old ship? But later in life, it started being more like he started feeling guilty about something, maybe. Well, what is the injustice? Well, their lawful heir is being robbed of his inheritance. My dear father left his entire fortune down to the last coin to somebody nobody, a Sir Verdelio, who hasn't even bothered to come to a funeral. I'm left with nothing. You know, Billy, you little people got an ass that won't quit. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> I had to get a little bit of Simpsons in there. Must realize how wrong and unacceptable the situation is. So I thought maybe you could lend me a hand somehow. For the sake of friendship with the future keeper of the Bellardo fortune. Oh, I mean, that is true, too. Granted, he's a seems to be a worthless drunk, so I don't know how much I can trust of his future investments with me. I kind of trust the pirate guy over there. I mean, he's a pirate, too, I guess. But the first mate, he seemed a little more on the up and up as far as uh, <clears throat> repaying favors. Who is Fidelio? I have absolutely no idea. Zero. There's a will, there's a name, that's it. Maybe they're my father's by blow, some brother or sister I never knew I had. Maybe be there a whore who brightened his final days. I got the feeling the old louse chaplain knows, but he always known for a bit more about the father's business, uh, whatever. I will consider your offer. By the way, I haven't we haven't been introduced. <laughs> like, by the way, who are you? Okay. We still don't know what the fuck he died of. I don't know if that's important. Like, does it matter if? Because like... my assumption is whoever this Fidelio is. If he if he wrote it in the book, then he's probably the one who wrote it in the house. But how the hell did he write it in the house? It had to be someone on the inside. <clears throat> it wasn't Adelia. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure we can trust Adelia. Did I miss it? Oh, I missed a lot of stuff. Hold on. This is the stuff I need. Is there money to be made? Um. Okay. So this way. Oh, good. I will take that. Ooh, what's this? We're against five fellowship and ten commerce. Ooh, if the wearer has dogmatic, adherent, or above, their lower imperium will depend on fellowship instead of intelligence. Oh, no, 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 no. I should keep that. No, keep that. Keep that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's, I could probably figure out someone really good to put on, you know, put that on. I like the idea that you really have to think about all of your... Because, like, in a lot of CRPGs, even though you have a party, if you want to use a party member's stats to, like, determine... Stats! Uh, to determine, for example, a check for, like, lore or knowledge or, you know... You have to have that person be the one initiating the check. Like, I think even a Baldur's Gate 3, if someone has better, like, a certain skill of, like, religion more than someone else, you want them to be the one initiating the conversation to use that check. Um, whereas in this, which usually means you have to just try to min-max your character completely to give them the absolute best stats so that you're never going to get sideswiped by something you didn't realize you were going to have to do, you know, in a conversation. But 
it seems like in this, this is like really cool because it's it is a team effort. It's a party game. So in a conversation with someone, if there's a certain check, it will just tell you who has the highest check and that they're going to do it. So you use their check in place of yours. So really, it is about more min-maxing the party. So someone could have a ton of lore Imperium if they have really high fellowship. Uh, I'm assuming Abelard probably has decent fellowship. I think. Because um, that might actually work really well for him. Hold on. Okay, never mind. Who has the highest fellowship? Cassie has the highest fellowship. I have sh Well, because mine is intelligence, not fellowship. I mean, he doesn't have terrible fellowship, but... The thing is, he has more dogmatic. Yeah, he has way more dogmatic than I do. He's a follower. He would need to be adherent. Uh, what about you? Oh, she... Ha okay, so it's her. Yeah, I don't have any. I have adherent for... Conoclast. But yeah, okay, so she's the one who really should be using that. Okay, hold on. Um... Oh, there we go. You want that for sure plus five and plus ten commerce and your lore imperium although you're intelligent okay no totally 100 percent. so now your lore imperium is based on your fellowship and you also just get plus ten lore imperium yeah it'll depend on fellowship instead of intelligence perfect yeah i like i really like that because it makes you really think about who's where like whose stats are where when it comes to like diplomatic stats I guess... I mean, I'm probably just going to say, no, give it to the family. Screw Fidelia, whoever he is. It's like, I haven't found any evidence of who this is, and they're... And I'm the rogue trader, so you do what I say. Call the parties involved. It's time to discuss the matter of the will. Oh, I'd like to... Yeah, I'd like to discuss with you what I've been able to uncover and regarding Mysterious Fidelio. Okay. Mentioned Fidelio and Repentance. Not long before his death, Dens mentioned something about dead eyes looking at him. That is strange. Who could have looked at him like that in his own home? Some errant server skull that was passing by? Maybe it was nothing more than a dying man's delusions. I mentioned Fidelio and Repentance. Yes, but what could it mean? I think I might know the answer. I'm listening. The infants. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's not impossible. Let's see, this, it says the name of a ship. That's what I'm thinking. As soon as he said, though, that he could be talking about a Cobra class. Wait a minute. Um... I'm thinking a ship. A ship called Repentance. I'm not sure, but you might be right. Now that you've said that, I've remembered an interesting detail. Oh, about 12 years back, there was an attempt on Denz's life. Not many could have even gotten close to him, let alone wounded him. But that assassin was a master of his craft. Denz always was a hardy fellow, and that's what saved him. That and his trusty implants. But the medics pretty much had to put him back together from scratch. When he finally emerged from the hands of the Sawbones, months after the attempted assassination, he kept chuckling about her being a sharp one, and that she was real angry with him for burning her father or her husband, I don't recall. And he was a ship captain. I vaguely remember that conversation, but I'm almost certain that the ship was called the Repentance, and that Dens even knew the names of that captain and the proud would-be Avenger. The woman's name was Leona, or something like that, and her last name... I wouldn't be surprised if it sounded similar to Fidelio. Oh. <clears throat> Think the woman is our Adelio? Fidelio? It's my best guess. Let me remind you what he said. <clears throat> I owe Fidelio, if not for the repentance. Who else could he have been indebted to if not a vengeful daughter or lover, or whoever she was, of a captain he'd killed? It would be the very dense thing to do. That's so dense. To leave all the money not to his wimp of a son, 
Not to his idiot first mate, but to the cunning lass who almost killed him. Do we know... Yeah, do we know what happened to her? She got away after the attempt, but I don't know what Den's... That I do know that Den sent mercenaries after her immediately. Whether he found her or not, that I do not know. It seems unlikely he did, because if he had settled a score with her, he wouldn't have gone to put her in his will, would he? That also doesn't explain how someone was getting into his house to write the words. Let's have we cleared up the case. We've cleared up that. <sighs> yeah. Maybe they'll make themselves known. Maybe they will. But I would like to know for certain. If they don't make an appearance, we might never find out who Dens wanted to bequeath his fortune to. Book about repent about remembrance of repentance. Could they have left it? That's odd. I've been watching the guests, and I know I've won here. If you're not Fidelio, and no one here is Fidelio, well, unless they're able to get in undetected. Then supposedly left his possessions to Fidelio. A woman who wanted to take revenge on him for killing the captain of the ship Repentance. The word Repentance is written in the Book of Remembrance. The entry is new. So that means Fidelio is somewhere close by. We also know something about dead eyes and the fact that the courtyard is completely open. I don't think an unknown person could have gotten in here and left those words in the book. Well, Lord Von Valencius, now it's all in your hands. I'm no sleuth and don't know what to do with all these clues. And you have some thoughts about Fidelia's whereabouts? Find her. If not, come back to me. And we, and yeah, we still need to send Dens on his way and deal with the matter of his estate. Yeah, I'm good. Ah. Uh. I want... Uh, yeah, Jesus. <clears throat> I would ask the esteemed guest to stay for a moment longer. I was going to announce Denz's last will and testament after he was delivered into the flames, but the circumstances dictate some, dictated otherwise. And so, according to the deceased's will, <clears throat> all of Bellardo's fortune goes to not his worthless son Cass, not his brainless mate Dagon, but to Fidelio, a mysterious... New heir. However, I believe a certain party would like to intervene in this process. Damn it. Ugh. God damn it. She inherits his fortune and then gives it to me. I, I could just take it or give it to Dagon. But god damn it. She actually is kind of deserving of it. And she is technically by blood his, you know, an inheritor. Sure. The name on the will is Billard uh, Fidelio, but the chaplain pulls a hefty scroll out of his bag and tears it to shirts. All his life, Den spat on laws. I think he'd understand. Ha! The old man sure is thrown didn't expect this. The money is mine. Don't worry, sweetheart. Daddy will help you put your grandpa's riches to good use. Cass, you have finally gone deaf from all that drinking. The inheritance is Adelia's, not yours. If you make any attempts to coerce her, I, as Denz's executor, will be forced to take steps. Puts a hand on the handle of his hammer. Oh, I see. All of you have it in for old Cass, eh? Well, I'm afraid you leave me no choice. Uh, what? Okay, good. Sobbing and crying. Oh. Well... Daddy, get up. I'll give you the inheritance. Well, you know, you probably... You could have said that, really, a little... A second earlier. Damon's take, you Cass. Threatening to murder your own daughter at your old man's funeral was, was a new low for you. You always were a useless waste. Even in your final moments. Wait. That's a servitor? Oh, it is a servitor. Why did the servitor attack Cass?
I thought it was one of the guards. The servitor? The servitor... That... The servitor that was a woman is kneeling motionless and showing no signs of life. There are two shard holes where the eyes once were. Some malfunction must have burned its brain from the inside. Its face bears a peaceful smile. Hmm. I think that's one of Denz's house servitors. Cass brought them with him when, uh, to the funeral. Could be a malfunction caused by some error during the servitorization process. Or maybe Denz. Knowing his friends and family as scum they are, gave it orders to protect his grand granddaughter. Who could say at this point? So what happens to the girl now? <sighs> She's got no one left now. Her mother ran off to the edge of the galaxy, and her father, well, you saw it yourself. I'll look after her until she's grown up. I don't think I need to spell it out for you. A little girl with a tremendous fortune might as well paint a target on her forehead. If I take Adelia in, no one will dare to hurt her, courtesy of the reputation that my turbulent past has earned me. And if they do dare... <laughs> he casts a meaningful sidelong glance at Cass's body. While I'm at it, I'll also help her not to squander her whole fortune. Maybe even earn some extra both for herself and you. I think the best investment would be with a merchant ship. I'll teach her the basics of void fairing, find some reliable suppliers, pull a few strings in the administratum, and just like that, she'll have herself a decent enterprise. I'll venture to guess you assume you wouldn't say no to a supply network that is robust and loyal to none but House von Valencius. Leave the paperwork and other formalities to me. I'll contact the, your subordinates myself. Okay, okay. I was a little worried. A little, a little worried that... By being the good guy, I'd screw up. All right, that takes care of the hunters. What to do next? I would like to say goodbye to my old friend. I imagine the crematorium has got its furnaces up and running already, but I feel it'd be kind of sad just to shove Dens in there like that. He was known as Jerry Can Dens, and he loved having his enemies drenched in Prometheum and burned. What a charming guy. I mean, although who? Who can't say that that's not a little funny? Come on. I think it'd be a nice gesture to send him away in the same fashion. Thankfully, it's easy enough to procure a jerry can of Prometheum on footfall. Fitting. Want to stay and watch? With pleasure. Let's go what... Yeah, we didn't figure out who the fuck Fidelio was. Well, let's get started, I guess. I'm thinking it was the Servitor. Because the Servitor killed Kaz. Right? Or saw Kaz die. It saw Adelia get the fortune. And it, someone on the inn, he said it was a house Servitor and it was a woman. We saw that it was a woman, right? So I'm thinking it was the one right... Maybe he told it. Like, okay, so, so she makes the assassination attempt on him. He sends his guys out to get her. They kill her, turn her into a servitor, that maybe he's feeling guilty about it. And so he... One of the commands that it was, was that it keep writing repentance, so that he never forgets. And at first it made him happy, because he thought, ha, got that bitch, got that bitch that tried to kill me, yeah, yeah, keep reminding me. And then maybe later in life, suddenly started, like... Feeling the servitor, maybe, like, I don't know, maybe, or maybe he didn't realize it was her, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out the whole story here. But then it started, like, I don't know, the servitor, maybe, st maybe the servitor started going a little nuts. But I think, I'm thinking that's what it was. But either way, can I look, Kaz? We're just going to leave him there? I 
That's the way I want to go. Light me up like Denethor. Except specifically with a flamethrower, like in this case. That's a cool way to do it. Oh. oh, I wanted to loot him. I don't even know what he had. Rise to the top. I'll get left in the dust. I guess everyone's just cleared out? Okay, well. I don't think I probably should have just killed Kaz when I could have. He gave me the option to attack him. I could have looted him. He might have had, I mean, he may have had something good. What else have we got? Anything? Uh, we have... There's something up there. Let's go find that. Case closed. How would I have found out the identity, though? Because, yeah, like, I think that's what... It, is this another one of those stupid... And uh, whatever. Um. Oh no, it's over here. Is there money to be made? Is it like somewhere over here? Oh, is it on that plate? Oh, okay, it's up there. I think maybe. I always keep my options open. Somewhere up there. How do I get up there? Uh, I always have a backup plan. Rise to the uh, top. Yeah. I'll get left in the dust. Oh, so uh, this might be some stuff. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out. But okay, so my profit factor, hopefully that will... Does that affect my profit factor? Hold on. Nope. Um... My profit factor show up. find that. I might be out. I might have to go back to the uh, Corpus Valencius. Nope. Cargo manager? No. Nah, I'll figure it out. Yeah, it's not that bad, I guess. Alright. Um... Anything else over here? No. Did you have anything for me? No. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. He endowed Drew scenes with donations. I should have talked to him. Maybe he would have known something. It is. Over the course of his life, that reprobate had burdened, had burdened his soul with many vile and egregious acts. His confession sort of akin to a grand catechism, listing humankind's eminent vices and enormities. It was all the more painful for him to realize that, of all the heinous acts he had committed, not one had been forgotten by the Emperor. Dens Bellardo was afraid of death and that which would await him after. He hoped to atone for his misdeeds, yearned to convince, if not the Emperor, then himself at least, that he had been more than a conscience speck of malignance. I like to mold his entire life. Hmm. Yeah. So it is. We are as contemptible in our faults as we are pathetic in our desire to run from the realization of one's own base nature. Wait. Wait, he said send about Fidelio. Um. God damn it! I don't think you would have known. Keep your wits about you. <clears throat> I 
It's another one of those stupid things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, map. Uh, there's three up there, so let's go there. There's one over here. Punish the enemies of humanity. Wait, what? Oh, we got some dread. Oh, we got some Xenos in here. Yo, what's up? Ah, uh, these are just Eldar cares. Xenobeastus Unknownus. Behavior, cruelty, trickery, rampant mating. Habitat. Void. Doesn't need air. Diet. Rocks. Fears the Emperor and Fire. Now, if it doesn't need air, that's not an Aldar. Everything else pointed to a Dark Eldar, but, you know, they, they kind of generally do need air. Oh, there we go. Lots of trade goods, like that, liking it, liking it, loving it. Uh, okay, there's two. There's one down there. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Somewhere over here. Oh, there maybe. I fully intend to scrape every place there is here for goods. There we go. Ooh, boots. <clears throat> New boot goofing. All allies in a two-cell radius around the wearer gain plus 40% bonus to resolve from unyielding beacon ability instead of the original bonus. Mm. Take it. Then there is one way over there. That's it. Whee. Now I guess we can continue... The quest, can't we? Oh, there it is. Is that a, just a dead guy? You okay there? Am I supposed to work if they broke my ribs? They took my thumbs! Okay. Uh, so I think that's it. Oh, wait, there's still that one down there. Is that, wait, was that just the... Hold on. Um, yeah, hold on. Go back to where Funeral was. Go back to Funeral Man place where was Funeral. Let us not dawdle. I think if I go this way, maybe I can get there. Oh, wait, is this all it was? Hold on. No, it wasn't. Okay, so there, there's got to be something I'm missing over here. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. It's like right somewhere around here. Hmm. That's nothing. Keep your wits about you. Can't seem to be able to get up there, so I don't. Think think. Yeah, because it, it, would, it would be somewhere like right here, based on the map. Is there money to be made? No, it's definitely not up there. I mean, it could be just some trade goods, or it could be, like, a weapon. I would kind of like to get that. I have no idea. I may have to come back in here from another angle, maybe. My thought is it might be up on one of these, like, catwalks, but I don't know how to get up on the catwalks. Let's see if there's, like... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nah. Alright, let's just get to... 
the exit here. Uh, yeah. And get out of here. Continue on our mission. This is the right way, right? Yeah. Always keep your eye on the prize. Hey guys. Emperor protects and all that. The Legis Palace. Yes, let's speak to. I mean, every place I seem to go to, everyone all tries to offer me a warm welcome, and then rebels end up trying to kill me, so. Hopefully the liege here. I mean, we, we just left a planet where the governor let a heresy, a chaos heresy, and a fucking dark Eldar insurgency last for so long unchecked that they the, the fucking dark Eldar stole the sun and chaos destroyed the planet. So there's a remarkably low bar for this liege to clear. The Vladim... Vladi, Vladaim Takara the Liege. My patience. You remember the way out. Dismissed. The tall man in austere gray clothes makes a show of looking past the when he's addressing. Vladim, Vladim, Vladim. What as he put such harsh words into your mouth? You talk like you're an imperial clerk, not one of us. The woman who is standing with her back to you lets out an ostentatious sigh and then. The tone changes dramatically. Where's my cargo? Ca cargo. Where's my cargo, Vladane? Falco. Falco. That ain't Falco. That ain't Falco. Falco has it, doesn't he? That's how you do business with your old friends these days. So you don't remember. Then the help will remind you. Guards escort her out. Hidari, move. The massive guard leads down to the woman and says in a lowered voice, Jay, get going while he's letting you out. Don't drown your sorrows at the... Em Go drown your sorrows at the Emescus, and thank your lucky stars you're able to walk out the door. You won't get that chance next time. Find the disgraced stranger in the Adeptus Emescus bar in Footfall Shadow Quarters. First, an insult and now threats. I see courtesy intact and no longer a valued commodity on Footfall. Oh well, I'll find a better deal. Gives you a quick once-over, winks at you, then immediately turns with a flip of her jet-black hair. The tall man, who has long since noticed your presence, is studying you intently. Vladim Tukara Liege of Footfall. Let us please proceed to my office. A spread befitting a visitor of your rank is waiting. Your entourage will be accommodated nearby. Yeah, that's a... Let's just go. Please, follow me. Alright. While you're engaged in small talk, you get a chance to take a measure of Leech Takara. His expression is aloof and focused, his gestures curt and firm, and his speech calm and quiet, as though he's used to people always listening to what he says. Judging by his observant gaze, he has been studying you in turn this whole time. Let's talk business. On behalf of the elite of Footfall Station, I offer you my condolences, Lord von Valencius. We mourn Lady Theodora's loss, and we hope the sentiment is taken as a sign of our good intentions and willingness to cooperate. Yeah, um, we'll play along. I hope that under your guidance, the Death Dynasty can recover from this blow and attain even greater power. It was a bold move on your part to announce yourself as the new rogue trader of the Von Valencius dynasty, despite not having your status confirmed by anyone of import from the Imperium. I appreciate such traits in people. It's good to understand who you're dealing with. As you may have noticed, Footfall is currently in a state of crisis. Its peoples would benefit from the patronage of a figure such as yourself. Yeah, I was kind of attacked right on the docks. Um... Uh... You know, let's not let's not let's not get into the bad stuff right away. What's the situation? Troubling. Xenos raids are growing more frequent, trade is suffering, and fringe worlds are going under. Rumors of atrocities being committed by enemies of humanity are causing excess panic due to their exotic nature. Hmm. 
The core of the Imperium's forces in the Coronis Expanse has departed for the Sector's borders to combat the Xenos threat. There's been no word from them for a while now. Then again, with the distance and the current issues with the Astropaths, it's not entirely out of the ordinary. Still, we are not yet alone. From several of the worlds hit by Xenos attacks, we've received reports of fierce warriors who descended from the sky and entered the fray. The fragmentary accounts lead me to believe that the blessed Adeptus Astartes are operating in the Coronis Expanse, and I await news of their victories with great anticipation. Yeah! Space Marines. Um, have there been any Xenos attacks here? No, they haven't. Attacking footfall in general is not a particularly reasonable thing to do. Many ships are docked here at any time, and even the listed weapons on board them would make for a decent fighting force. And that's not even to mention the firepower that our esteemed merchants have shamefully hidden from the station's officials, uh, customs officials. For us here, Xenos are more of a source of income than threat. He freezes, gauging your reaction. Hmm. No, Iconoclast? classed. Yeah, no. Hey, I, I'm a rogue trader. Rogue traders are some of the few that actually are allowed to use Xenos tech. Use whatever you gotta use. So yeah, I'm no, yeah, yeah. I'm convinced that your connections with Footfall will allow you to broaden your knowledge and your understanding of Xenos considerably. I will see to it that your curiosity is satisfied in every way. Yeah, who is the woman? A dead woman walking. Some, however, would call her Jay Hadari, a small-time hustler with big ambitions that will lead her to a sticky end. Succeeded. It's strange. A small-time hustler, even a particularly audacious one, would likely uh, wouldn't likely quarrel in public with a figure of such importance as a liege of footfall. What seems stranger still is the liege knows this small fry by name. Yeah. <clears throat> she is irrelevant. Since I'm the one in control of the situation on Footfall, I can speak on behalf of all of us. All of its noteworthy residents. Yeah, I was kind of attacked. An outrageous stunt. A show of disrespect for both you and me. Sadly, such incidents on Footfall are akin to natural disasters, impossible to predict or preempt. They simply happen. Many consider football to be... Football. Many consider football to be the best of sports, but uh, Footfall to be a pirate den. But believe me when I say there is a difference between organized crime and gangs of thugs who have nothing to lose. You were attacked by the latter. The Anvers are a gang of punks who spit on our customs and hierarchy. Even their leader is more akin to an ideolo uh, yeah, ideologue. A rabble-rouser calls for people's heads, not a commander. Sooner or later, we will find him and have him strung up. That will likely cool his followers' enthusiasm. Awareness desk. Behind the carefully built facade of composure, you sense anger. This man is not used to losing control, and that's exactly what's happening. Um. Yeah, why haven't they been dealt with? I've been using all of my resources to delay the moment when the, situ the station is hit by famine. Oh. I haven't gotten around to the Envers yet. As detrimental as they are, they're no players. When the leader dies, the rest will scatter. Sorry for the loss of your assistant. What? Oh, that. Yes, uh, death was a regrettable development. Okay, so what sort of patronage you want? Protection. Not military protection. Different kind of security. You have, of course, already encountered difficulties with warp navigation on your way here. I'm afraid the scope of these difficulties extends far beyond this area. Reports of disrupting routes of ships vanishing during short jumps are coming in from across the entire sector. Communication with the Calaxis sector has been extremely unstable. Of the ships that have been divided into the Maw in the recent years, none have yet returned. The last ship that came through the Maw from the other side was struck by a temporal anomaly. The jump took almost two decades in real space-time. You've heard of periods of warp instability, including cases where the Maw would become completely inaccessible for navigation for years on end, thus temporarily cutting off the Coronis Expanse from the Imperium. Even so, Vladim's words are particularly alarming. It seems that something has had a profound effect on the Maw. Uh, Pascal, my boy. 
100% chance. And this brings us to our main issue. Footfall is a repair shipyard and a trading post. We barely produce anything ourselves and are largely dependent on incoming shipments, especially food shipments. The station naturally has some reserves, but the supply issue didn't start yesterday. Footfall has been obliged, would be obliged, if House von Valencius would assist us by signing a contract for food deliveries. I can't be the only one you've asked for help. Naturally, I tried contacting other rogue traders, but the terms of House Corridor have been, would have bled Footfall dry. And as for the esteemed Caligos Winter Scale, instead of food shipments from him, I received to transport the Navica, packed with the refugees. I had to send them off to Foulstone. So many extra mouths to feed would have only worsened the crisis further. I suppose all these warp fluctuations must have created more pressing concerns for Lord Winterscale. And so I put faith in you, the third and last of Footfall's allies. Oh, so I'm, I'm not the best choice. I'm just the last choice. All right. What are the terms? It's simple. Deliver your food shipments from your fertile worlds. Janus, I believe. I'm quite familiar with that jewel of the Von Valencius Protectorate in exchange for fair payment. <clears throat> <sighs> I will help for fall, but not a... No, no, no. Uh, very well. I'm not going iconoclast and not taking money for this. If you're good at something, never do it for free. Like, I know I'm trying to be a good guy in this playthrough, but this is the 40k universe. You, you, good guys just end up dead. You, you have to have a little bit of the 40k grimdark in you. I screwed up with the planet, but that was only because I thought I still had time after saving refugees to also then blow it up afterwards. So that one I screwed up. I should have just blown it up, but... I am immensely obliged. Your Lordship, I assume you're going to need time to get the shipments up and running. I can wait. On my end, I promise you complete cooperation with your endeavors. Uh, where does one go to make a few deals? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get let's get the money coming in. Here. I am the main deal around the station. And it would be disrespectful of me to suggest that you take your business to footfall traders of lesser importance. Still, you might take an interest in a few people of note. For example, Reverend Hieronymus Doloroso. I still, oh, that's right, we still have to have a conversation with him. This servant of the Ecclesiarchy is rumored to purchase sacred relics from captains and other traders. Don't seem too keen on becoming his uh, competitors. If you're looking for goods that can entertain you, find Octaviana at the establishment called the Adeptus Amasicus. Amasic Amasicus. The chemical bliss that she offers is refined and possesses a satisfactory degree of purity. Just don't ask her to pour you her signature drink. It's meant for common footfall rabble, not discerning clientele. I'm interested in your wares. I'm at your service. You can expect the most generous discounts. Alright, alright. Uh, ooh, what we got, what we got, what we got. So I have 20. And what can I buy from you for 20? Ooh, a telepath staff. What does it do? It does visions of death. I think I already have one of those. Ooh. A Zoa pattern hex rifle. It's an exotic. It's a Jukari. Um, well, first of all... We're going to want to buy everything we actually have that we can get from him. Yep. And more med kits, 100%. Okay. Um, ooh, precise bolter. That's nice. Oh, I need lots of profit factor for this dude. Calibrated heavy stubber. Okay, okay. That one's actually not... 35's not too bad. Storm, a storm bolter. Nice. Yeah, see, I, I, want, I, want, I want the guns. You give me the guns. Some sniper rifles. The Bane of Sorrow. That's an Aldari weapon. But hey, I'm, I might... I might... 
I like my plasma guns. I do like my plasma guns, but I might want to have at least one person, possibly me, who uses some Xenos weapons. Until we actually finally get some Xenos on the crew, of course. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, my reputation. What do you want? You want this? Anything else you want? Let's let's see. Wow, that did jack shit for my reputation. Uh, okay, it's gonna take a lot more to get reputation with you. Yeah, I'd like to at least get. I mean, it's gonna be a while before I have the profit factor to actually trade too much with this dude. So I don't actually know that I need to go too nuts trying to sell thing sell things to him. I mean, I'm gonna have to have at least thirty, I would think. Is there money to be made? All right. Are there goods to steal from this guy? No. Okay. Cool. Wait, there was a side room over there. I saw a side room. Did I not? Hmm. Hold on. There's something. There's a hidden thing somewhere around here. Either that or the map's glitched. But I don't think the map's glitched. I think there's I think there's something hidden. Even though it's a, that's a window to the outside, though. That doesn't make a lot of sense. But you can see it, right? Look, it looks like this is a little path. Rise to the top, Maybe like a path like dust. the desk moves or something? Hmm. Hmm. All right, then. Keep your secrets. For now. Lord Captain, I am pleased to report that the inspections have been completed and all identified system failures have been resolved. The void ship is ready to depart footfall. The crew is awaiting for further instructions. And there are also a number of issues that need to be addressed. Of course there are. Keep your wits about you. All right. So, we could talk to Ronius, get in with the Ecclesiarchy. A well-groomed young man calls out to you. He's clean-shaven and dressed in clothes that are expensive but unshowy, with a bright Aquila embroidered on the pro- Well, thank God he has an Aquila on him. As long as he has one of those, I know I can trust this man. Your Lordship, I humbly ask for a minute of your time. I am Bastion and in- Derama Bastal Corda. Youngest cousin of House Corda. Oh, he was the first people he went to. Envoy of Incendia Bastal Corda. Rogue trader of the Coronas Expanse by the grace of the Most Holy Emperor. Corda. Hmm. They're some of the most influential rogue traders in the Coronas Expanse. But not on footfall. This station is under control of House Winterscale. Something tells me that we are to hear a most curious offer. A matter of utmost delicacy. You see, you've been to the residence of the Liege. Vladame almost certainly appealed to you for assistance in arrangement of shipments to footfall. Von Valencia's protector is famed for the abundance of its main agro world, Janus. It would be odd for him not to seize on such an opportunity when footfall is on the verge of famine. However, the Corda dynasty pursues its own interests in footfall. We have already announced our terms to the Liege, but he is stalling. I imagine in hopes of getting a better offer from you. The Corda Dynasty believes that cooperation would be preferable for both rogue trader houses. If you refuse Valadame, thereby forcing him to agree to a deal with us, the Corda Dynasty can promise you a share of the profits from the future contracts, as well as certain other prerequisites. A prerequisite, you know. Everybody been... Okay, you should have told me that before I walked in and agreed to his terms. You should have hit me up before I walked in. It's kind of late now. You fucked up, dude. You tell someone about the whole plan to extort the guy before I go in and agree not to extort him. The Emperor's most loyal servant should be more concerned with carrying his will through the stars and less with divvying up profits among themselves. 
especially when the well-being of one of the Imperium's worlds is at stake, even one such as Footfall. Behind your smile, ba Master yeah, Bastion, teal shadows swirl. Others may not see them, but your worry cannot escape my eye. What are you afraid of? Your house's wrath, should these negotiations prove fruitless? Or the wrath of House von Valencius? They're coming again, brothers of the ones who came before. I just don't get it. Do they all have a death wish? Adira, at some point you're going to have to start actually just like making sense with your... I mean, you're telling your your narr like your premonitions are like telling a narr a side narrative that I'm not following, so I don't know what the hell you're talking about. This is why other psyker dude was just way more upfront. <sighs> Here's the thing: I already made an agreement. I already said, yeah, okay, I'll accept the terms. Whatever, we're done. We're good. <sighs> you know what? We're just going to pull it that way. Strong words. Perhaps you would like to give my prose a little more consideration? So I'm going to blow something up. Oh, God. Well... That solves that. I'll make an example out of you. Hey, you know, oh. Um, okay. Oh, they, uh, yeah, 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 you got, you got this situation totes under control, Liege. Totes under control. You got, like, 40 guys right outside your frickin' door. All right. Well, let's 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 take care of this problem. Um, actually, you know, I'd rather have uh, no, because I mean, yeah, she could torch everyone over here, but there's a lot of people to start torching. Um, let's get her. She doesn't have the movement for it. No, let's just put her here for now. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna get over here. Uh, Cass, <clears throat> you get right here. And you start staring at people. Abelard, uh, yeah, I just want you to start marching downfield. That's what you do. Adira, I don't know, just try not to get killed, I guess. And Pascal, yeah, you get back here with me and we can start shooting. And I think we're good, right? Okay, warp. No warp issues. That's good. Um, okay, yep. So we're gonna go... Lidless Stare. How many can I get? Ooh, I can get like three of them over here. I kind of want to leave them for Abelard, though. You know, we'll just take these guys. Oh, the old bastards. Damn it. Um, can you... <laughs> Who can I actually hit with this? Hit a deer up, but... I don't really want to start messing with the warp yet. Okay. Instead, let's do... Um... Yeah. Yeah, this should work. Okay. Um, Dira, can you get as close as possible? Oh, actually, you know what? You're fast. Yeah, get over here, bind cover. Oh, I really don't want to have to... That's only a little. That's only a tiny, tiny bit. Okay. I'm okay with this. Um, I probably should be using more analyze enemy and analyze. Actually, okay. Wait, hold up. Actually, where are you? Can you designate? Yeah, no, 
that's not none of those are really gonna work for me. Um, analyze. Let's just start putting tags on people. Ooh, okay. Okay, so this is yeah, this is another bunch of like that are just a bunch in one group. So these guys should go down pretty easily. All right. Well, here's what we're gonna do. And oh man, I can't even quite reach these guys. Damn it. Oh well, not a huge deal. Because I'm just going to run a gun real quick. And we're just going to we're just going to torch these dudes. And you know what? Throw that on there. OK. Um, I think she's probably got that taken care of over there, so I'm actually going to go over here. So, here's a thing I learned. Apparently, uh, me, uh, using all of the, uh, uh, you know, plasma stuff. Uh, is this the, no, it's the, this is the one I want. Uh, the one that overheats. I was getting away with that a lot. Um, as, and it turns out, um, yeah, apparently, uh, that was a glitch, that it didn't actually have any downsides. So, uh, yeah, now it's actually go. they, they fixed that, unfortunately. <laughs> so now I'm actually gonna have to worry slightly about, uh, I'll see to it personally. about some of these, uh, unfortunate side effects if I start overcharging it too much. Um... 32% chance, 13% chance. Uh, yeah, I'll just take out this dude. Or I'll just completely miss. Okay, well. Uh, can you just go right back where you were? Get right behind cover. Okay. Okay, you... Hmm... What he could shoot at? Not really, huh? Well, well, yeah. Okay, hold on. Um, can you pop this? And then I want you to swing at him. Good. And then can you? Crap! You have no. Oh no! You have. Oh, it takes two shots for the... Damn it. Okay. Well, never mind. Uh, instead... Analyze this dude. Alright. Abelard, uh, I believe uh, I would like you to uh, come over here real quick. Thank you. Uh, kill him. And then, uh, if you could please uh, charge uh, him. Yep. And I guess that's it. Just endure. Yeah, now that I'm getting charged and getting, like, extra movement on Abelard after he kills someone, he went from, like, never even getting into range because we'd already shot everyone before he could get there to getting into the like, thick of it and then just, like mowing his way through the entire crowd alone. <laughs> He's, like, very quickly becoming an MVP. How did you miss? Alright, we got some guards coming in. Alright, Cass, uh, you know what? I want you here. Well, yeah, actually, that's not bad. It's not a bad spot. Yeah. Be careful not to cross my gaze. Now, I want you... Oh, that's good. I 
And they'll give... Uh, ah, see, he can't. He's not close enough to really do anything. That's the problem. Because <sighs> he can't really charge anyone, I don't think. Actually, out of curiosity, would he be able to charge from here? Is there anyone he can get to? He can. Well, okay then. And he doesn't get a free attack or anything. But he's right there. Uh, okay. And now she still has a turn. She's gonna... Can I shift? No, not really anywhere, huh? Um. Yeah, put that right there. Oh, I didn't realize I could do that. I can just move it anywhere I want. I thought I had to be around her. Oh, this changes things. Okay, 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 hold up. Dodge. Oh, okay, so I... Oh, oh shit, okay. So I place different battle lines in different spots. So this one is range damage, over penetration, and crit chance. This one is cover and dodge and dodge reduction. Okay, so this is... Okay, I put it on them if I want their dodge chance lowered. Okay, so people who are behind cover, I throw that down. And this is armor and all enemies suffer. Or damage from any source. Okay, so yeah, that is that is the right spot for that one. Okay. So then I'm probably going to want... Around us, we probably want the ranged one then. Okay. I get it. I get it now. Uh, so Adira, that's also going to be your fucking job. Once this asshole goes away. Um, yeah, you know what? Can you just go right here? And can you uh, just, just, just finish off this little group here? There we go. How is he still alive? Uh, you know what? Run and gun again. Just torch this motherfucker. Seriously. I guess that's it. Okay. So now I... Oh. Okay. Yeah, um... You... That's two, though. I'd rather have the two for the charge. Oh, you got a movement. Okay. <sighs> okay, that, that was a good choice to give him that item. That he just gets movement points whenever he kills someone. And then from here... Ooh. Charge him. Yeah, the problem is he still has only... The only only that has the one attack per turn. Okay, so that... I, I don't know how you can get multiple attacks per turn. I don't know if that's like a dex thing, or an agility thing, rather. Okay, yeah, what is he doing? Okay, not a bad deal. Um, are you? Okay, we're getting more guards. Okay, okay. Alright, Cass, um... Yeah, so she's next, so I'm gonna actually move... Okay, yeah, you can come over here. Uh, I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't... None of them are going to be able to see me. Okay. Um, eh, screw it. Just look at the dude. Never mind. Apparently that person can't see me. Um, let's do... Cover efficiency and dodge. Here. Range damage and overcharge. Things like that. Give that... I wish I could cover both of us. Okay, so I'm going to have to have a deer do that. That's fine. So instead, what we'll do is... Um... Yeah. Move that there. 
And then... You get over here. So you can go on the move. And there we go. And then... You... No, I'm going to put cover on her. And some dodge. Okay. Yeah, you stay where you are. Adira, uh, I actually want you to put your backline rear range damage and stuff. Yep. Okay, I can't... Can I change the shape? I can change the shape. Kind of. It has to be... A, okay, so it has to fit. Um, you know what? This is actually fine. We'll put this here. And then can you, uh, I don't know. Oh, do I get a free one? Oh, it's a heroic act version. I don't want a heroic act version. Yeah, just just scare that man. There he is. He's very scared. Uh, and can you actually... I don't want to, I don't want to screw with any... But of course. Yeah, you, you stay where you are. I could have had you scream at him, I guess, but, you know, it's fine. Um, actually, yeah, she could... She could potentially get him from here. Yeah. Guards are doing a great job. Slowly moving your lumbering asses. Uh, I want to stay in the, stay in the, uh, zone of more damage, but now I'm gonna have to. Yeah, just a regular old shot. 16%! It's not that much in cover. Um, you know what, just in case. Just in case. I'm just gonna do that so that I don't accidentally hit Avalard. Okay, good. Now we run and gun. Can I, I can't make it to him yet, but okay, that's fine. There we go. And now... We're just gonna... I could dash. And get right up to him. That's the closest I'd be able to get. Okay, well... There we go. Much better shot. And I missed. Of course I did. Alright. But that was the most roundabout way that person... Did. They, they, they were in range, then they left range, took an attack of opportunity hit. That person was a moron. Yeah, can you get as close as possible? Uh, mark you. Uh, actually, can you then expose weakness? And now... 80% chance. I like it. Wow, still alive. Alright. Uh, how's everyone else doing? Joint analysis until the operator's next turn. Uh, uh, well, I removed all the exploits anyway. Well, I'm a sorry friend, but I, uh, I believe, um... I believe this is what they call, uh, it's, it's, it's over for you. Yep. And then, uh, then there's this whole, this whole situation here. Oh, well. Uh, endure for a moment. Thank you. And then in, uh, Cassie's next turn, she's just gonna give him another turn to beat the shit out of that guy. <clears throat> That's how we do things here. Oh, surprise, Cassia. Uh, can you... Yeah, just look at this man. Woman, whatever. They're dead. Uh, and then Abelard, can you take another turn, please? What do you mean it's not in a lot of sight? <sighs> ah, she's not gonna have enough movement. Damn it. Uh, he's actually kind of slight. Well, no, he he should been. Oh uh, well. Well then, um, you. Is there anyone you can give a free turn to? Not anyone that really needs it. Eh. All right. 
Adira. Can you move the range, the the rear over here? Perfect. Oh, I, ca I can't overlap them. I don't think I can overlap them. Okay. That's good to know. And I think... Uh, I don't think she can see him. Oh, no, she can. Yeah, we've not built up much warp at all. Like, the warp perils are fine right now. I'll brush this off. Interesting. You, try you choose to shoot me and not the guy who's breathing down your neck with a greatsword. All right, that's fine. Pop that. And we'll just take that. We'll uh, run and gun. We'll, uh, oh, am I out of ammo? Crap. No, I'm not. Oh, crap, no, I gave her the thunder hammer. Damn it. Okay, reload. I don't have enough time. Okay, never mind. You got off light. Uh, I guess I'll just hit you with my uh, power maul. And then if that doesn't kill you, I'll shoot you in the face with a uh, plasma pistol. That worked. Okay. Well... I mean, yeah, let's, let's see what we got here. What is this here? Uh, grants 10% bonus to awareness. That's that's pretty good. Uh, sniper rifle, sin skin. You know, I don't need you or you. I'll take that, though. I'm going to take that. Yeah, don't, don't have helped or anything, guys. You're all cool. Yeah, just go about your day. Not, nothing to see here. Just immediately outside the Legia's house, just me getting attacked by a bunch of fucking rioters. That's cool. Chain Axe? I like Chain Axe. Special attack that inflicts bleeding. I want to use a Chain Axe instead of a Power Maul. I'd like a Chain Sword. Um, hold on. I don't want that. I have no interest in that. Uh, shotgun, don't care. What is this, just a flak vest, probably? Yeah, no. Uh, and what is this, regular axe? No. This we're keeping, though. Keeping chain weapons. Uh, what else we got? Always keep your eye on the price. Uh, is this, uh, boo -doo 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 -doo. it's medium armor, I think, right? Scrap chain mail, probably not great. Okay. Uh, anything else I can... Loot. There's some dead dudes over here. Loot all you. Ooh, chainsword. Is it a better chainsword than the one? What is this? Casing chest plate. A 40. <laughs> nah, we can just get rid of that. Chainsword? Yeah, I always take chainsword. Goods. What is this? Is this another one of those stupid. Yeah, it's another leaflet. Fine, I'll throw it away. Let us not do it. No, I mean... Oh, hello. Anver's note from the atrium. Sector 2, watch your back. Make sure you're not being followed. Armored body glove. Don't really need that. Gas cog grenade. Yeah, I'll take that. Last pistol. No, we got plenty of those. Alright. Okay. Now, I mean, the bar was incredibly low for the local liege, since the last governor got his planet destroyed and his son kidnapped and stolen, I guess, not person. He got his son, uh, not son as in person, son as in the sun, their star of this system. Uh, yeah, it got stolen by the Drakari, and his planet got overrun by chaos. So the bar was low. But this has been two attempts on my life since I landed. Not a great start. But I will say it's you haven't had your son 
you know, you haven't had the sun itself stolen from your system, so that's... You still got that going for you, and this planet, it doesn't seem like it's chaos infestation, it's just a bunch of... You know, it's, 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 it's a... It's just riots. It's the normal thing you would expect. Uh, there's some leveling up we gotta do, don't we? Uh, yeah, so that's already been done. Alright, what do we got? Available abilities. Devastating attack. <clears throat> if it hits, we'll cause the target to make a tough resistance. With a penalty, if failure, the target will suffer negative effects based on the attack's damage type. Okay, interesting. So I can hit them with piercing or ending damage, inflicts bleeding, knock them prone, blinded. Okay, I like that stuff. Uh, immediately gains plus three. Okay, I get, okay, so just I immediately gain movement. If he has stacks of versatility, those stacks are doubled until the end of turn. But the Archmilitant loses all stacks that were added at the end of the turn. Okay. Next attack will cause 0p, will count towards the attack limit this turn, and will grant a stack of versatility, even if one attack type is... Every four stacks. Okay, that's right, because I want to I wanna switch melee and ranged to keep stacking versatility. That's right. Kick. My, I get a new ability. I've learned how to kick. A melee attack with a kick. Uh... The attack does not count toward the attack limit per turn and counts as a single melee attack for the purpose of heal versatility. The attack cannot be parried and will push the target two cells away. Ooh, I can push him and then shoot him. Okay. That's actually kind of good because it doesn't count toward the attacks per turn. So I can hit him with a melee attack, shoot him, kick him. And then use... Okay, hold on. Swing. Pistol shot. There's one kick there's another one and then run and gun shoot and then if i can find a way to make another attack attack again like just keep stacking versus okay i like this i like this idea confident approach uh gains the confident approach until it is used effect until the end of confident or until this is used again okay so cautious approach Instead of the usual bonuses from versatility, the Archmilitant gains 5% dodge reduction or power reduction. It's got critical hits, but the Archmilitant's critical damage for those attacks is modified. Already has four or more stacks of versatility. The Archmilitant's attacks always deal maximum damage as long as the Archmilitant keeps the confident approach effect active. Okay, interesting. So as, as long as I got versatility, I'm doing max damage. Holy crap. Okay. Um... So I can use one of the two. And ignores 5% of enemy cover for every stack. Interesting. Cautious approach, I assume it's kind of the opposite. I get... Yeah, it's... I'm much more defensive. And then wildfire, I just attack... Yeah, so this one, I kind of like that. I kind of want kick. I'm kind of thinking kick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that. Oh, whoops, no. Overwhelming stratagem. Uh... Uh, reveal the light to their will power and toughness. Uh, trench line stratagem. Combat tactics areas for one round. All allies in that area gain cover efficiency and reroll all failed characteristic tests. Additionally, cover in the area does not suffer any damage. Mm, okay. Blitz stratagem. Uh, for one round, all allies within range cells gain the ability to move in that area. This movement does not provoke attacks opportunity and does not spend MP. Ooh, I like that. Chooses or can Tactics areas. Bonuses are doubled. That's nice also. Who 
an enemy, that enemy must pass the willpower endurance test. Overcome. Held in my gaze is also really good. That actually would have helped a lot against that space marine to keep them from being able to move throughout the battlefield, but uh, I do kind of want that. Mm. I could always... I, I kind of like a lot of these, though. A lot of these seem really good. Um, one of the combat areas that are for all enemies are forced to reroll six will dodge and parry tests. The blitz seems really good. You know what? I can always do that with... Okay, you know, she's going to use Heldener Gaze. Adira can use the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you... I don't necessarily need to use you as the kick, necessarily. You, though, can use... Yeah, yeah, you're going to use Wildfire. So that way she can stack versatility, even if she's using the same kind of attack. Alright, I got that. I like that. Uh, you. Defensive stance, bulwark. Range attacks equal to the number of unyielding beacons. Additionally, the Vanguard's can immune to the push and force movement. Uh, to start the next turn. Following. The character can move to any cell adjacent to Vanguard. Ooh! Interesting. Follow my lead looks really good. Um, gain parry. Whenever the Vanguard parries enemy attack, they immediately make an attack of opportunity. <laughs> mm. uh, Vanguard on there is a fierce again unyielding. All affected allies gain 50% less damage the next attack. Ooh. Push. All enemies in three cell. Ah, this, these are real. I think I'm going to follow my lead, though. I kind of like this idea. Uh, you. No. No. Uh, what do I want from you? Power weapon. I could give him, like, a power weapon. Increases wounds by half. Uh, that actually might not be a bad idea. That actually might not be a bad idea. Just give him a crap ton of health. Okay. Adira, you... No. Back. Uh, I'm going to have you do Blitz. And then Pascal, I want you to do... Whenever until I attacks a target marked as prey, this attack... Okay, that I like. Have other people... Uh, so it's a trap. An enemy ally. Ooh, setting traps. Has trailed, and finishes the and finishes the turn. All allies gain seven percent chance against the trailed enemy. If an ally kills the trailed enemy, he gains additional turn after the ally's turn with all AP and MP remaining from the moment. Okay. Uh, I, 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 I could see that being really good. Uh, with a selected weapon, that attack always hits, but does not end the, their movement, but deals of usual damage. Okay. After each third enemy kill by claiming the bounty, the bounty hunter recovers one charge of hunt down the prey. If claim the bounty kills some target marks prey, the bounty hunter receives two AP. Okay, this is really getting into the thick of it with the with the market, you know, market mark targets thing. I think I want to start with this, with the trap. Yeah, I think I think that's a better idea. I always keep my um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it for here. 
we got some we got a lot done we solved an inheritance problem we uh i mean at the very least it's not a chaos insurgency here happening so it's better than the governor of the last area and also there's no drukari here it's just you know a class war that happens you know you expect that that's tuesday but uh yeah so i'm gonna call it for here i'm gonna make sure i save this and then we will continue with the rest of actually i guess i can technically go back to the void ship um Although I guess I gotta talk to the priest man. Oh, and there's the the other uh, dealer that is going somewhere that I gotta follow her and see what her deal is. Might be able to make some more money there. Uh, so that'll be it for now. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna be starting the Soul Silver Nuzlocke challenge. So that'll be fun. Uh, I just hope everything, I, I, I think everything's pretty much all set up as far as the overlay and everything. But, so that'll be tomorrow. But that'll be it for now. Uh, thank you all so much for being here. Hope you had fun. Uh, this game is interesting. I'm liking this a lot. I'm definitely liking where a lot of the, it's complex. Like, it definitely has all the complexities of the tabletop, but it's making them very approachable. Like, I, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm getting bogged down in too many systems. I could actually because it's doing a lot of it for you. I mean, it makes a whole lot of sense. But, uh, but yeah. I'm very interested to see where this goes. I don't actually know how much this more there's going to be to do in Footfall. I made some contacts. I made some money. But I think... Like, I don't know if it, we're just going to be leaving and then just heading out of the system to just start exploring. I don't know. But we'll see. But uh, see you all next time. Later.